So you want a Yorkie, eh? Hmm. One of the things that you should probably know about Yorkies is that they are, in fact, fierce hunters. And they are tenacious, as most terriers are. Hi, Ted. Ted's been digging for a while here. Let's see by the nub. Is there anything there, Ted? No. Normally the nub starts uh, wiggling like crazy when he's on the hunt for something. There we go. That was a little, little bit of nub wiggle. Right, Ted? So this is what these guys do. Yorkies are diggers. I'm gonna get upstream from Ted because I just don't feel like having any more clay chucked in my head. You getting tired, man? You've been digging at this for probably about 20 minutes. <laughs> now he's clearing up. He's clearing up the area around the hole, so apparently he's really planning on making a bigger, bigger hole. <laughs> Remember, man, you still gotta walk all the way home. <laughs> they are they are great root destroying dogs, as you can see. He likes to get rid of those pretty quickly. The only time he needs my help is if he gets them stuck in between his teeth uh, up in the palate. Sometimes I have to extract a, uh, I have to extract one or two. But other than that, it's just a matter of getting him a lot of baths because uh, he gets clay stuffed up onto his head. And a lot of times when he finds the underground springs, hmm, that's, that's dirt from Ted, believe it or not. I don't know how he got me up here. Thanks, Ted. Anyways. He gets, um, he'll hit an underground spring and his whole head will be completely covered in a wet clay. Which will then dry and it's absolutely impossible to remove. You can't brush it out, you can't cut it out. So the only way to, to get it out is to give him a bath in the sink. Luckily, unlike a Doberman, he fits in the sink so there's no problem with that. So I'm hoping that he doesn't find a spring in this one. He does some of his best hunting in the springs because it forces the chipmunks to come up and out. Because once he, once he digs through the little tunnels that they have up on the mountain, what ends up happening is he will strike water. The water fills up the rest of the cave. The chippy comes running out, and he kills it. Now, before you think that's a one-off deal, he's done this at least six times. Uh, I think at least three of them I have on video. One of them I may have posted. I don't know if I posted the other ones or not. But, yeah, he's a madman. This is what Ted does all the time. We're just above the house here. The house is right down there. There's a barn. And if you look carefully, you can see in the background, there was a running donkey a second ago here. I guess they're gone now. Mary was out walking the other one, and one of the donkeys was running back there. I don't know if you caught that on film or not. You can see it's just walking now. If I zoom in. You just barely see that's a donkey right there. You're going to have to trust me on this one. That's what it is. Anyways, done rambling on. How are you doing there, Ted? You're going to go home pretty soon, man. Hey. Hey. Ted, we're gonna have to eat soon. Ted, did you want to eat? Wow. You know he's in a trance when that doesn't break him out of it. <laughs>